Okay, so in this video, we're going to use the binomial expansion formula to find the expansion of this function here, 2 plus 3x to the power of 1 third. And what we're looking for is the first two terms plus the constant. So let's just have a look at the binomial expansion formula. So it says that 1 plus ax to the power of n is like this. So 1, that's the constant term. Then we have ax n plus, so this is the first term, so that's basically x to the power of 1. And then the next one what we have is we go n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial. And then we multiply this by ax squared. And you could keep going on and on like this, 3 factorial to the power of 3 n minus 2 will be included in the next one, and so on and so on. Okay, we've got this question here, 2 plus 3x to the third. Okay, so we can see that n equals 1 third in this formula, and at the moment a equals 3. But there's a slight problem, we've got a 1 here, whereas in the question here, we've got a 2. So what we can do is we can factor out this 2. So we can do 2 plus 3x to the third is the equivalent to 2 plus 3x cube root. And then take out this 2 here from there. So you've got 2 times 1 plus 3 over 2x. So multiply that by 2, you're back to the 3x. Multiply that by 2, you're back to the 2. So these are equivalent values. And now what we want to do is get rid of this cube root of 2 in the front here, because we want it in the form of this. So what we do now is provide ourselves with a, with a multiple. So cube root of 2, 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of 1 third is equivalent to what we have here. So this is equivalent to this. So now using our formula, 1 plus ax to the power of n, so we can now see that our a is 3 over 2. So let's write that down here. a equals 3 over 2, and our n is 1 third. So all we're going to do now is plug these values into our formula and multiply through by the cube root of 2. So first of all, let's go through with this part of, it, of the formula, and then we can go th multiply through with the cube root of 2 afterwards. So we end up with 1 plus ax, well ax is 3x over 2, and times by n, so multiply this by 1 third. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And now we've got n, that's one third. n minus one, third minus one is minus two thirds. Two factorial is two. Just to be a bit careful here now, ax squared, so three x over two squared. So let's keep that simple for now and then we'll square it afterwards. Okay, simplification time. Let's make this look a little bit more uh, easier to see. So 3x times a third, well those threes cancel out, so we're just left with the x over two. That's fine. One times minus two is minus two. Three threes are nine and then divide that by 2. So that takes care of the coefficients there. And then the 3x over 2 squared, remember to square the top and the bottom, so 3x becomes 9x squared, divided by 4. Okay, right, first two terms is fine. This is just looking a little bit messy. So let's just simplify that up. And while we're at it, we can put the cube root of 2 in front of it. 
So now I think we're ready to put that in there and get all these terms inside here. See where it takes us. So one plus X over two, that's fine. Right, minus two over nine times nine over four. Well, those cancel out. So minus two over four leaves us with minus one half. And then divided that by two, that gives us minus one quarter. And then x squared stays there. Okay, uh, we didn't need to go out quite as far as that, did we? So let's put that there. Now we need to do is distribute the cube root of 2 into all these terms. That's going to lead us to our answer. Cube root of 2 times 1. That stays cube root of 2. Cube root of 2 over 2 times x. That takes care of that one. Now the sign here stays positive. So that's good. And then the minus here and a positive, let's put the minus in already. Minus one quarter cube root of two. So then just gives us cube root of two over four x squared. Let's take that out of the way there. Okay. That gives us our answer. So we've got the constant, which is cube root of two. And then the first two terms with x in. So we've got x and x squared.